New concerns the Syrian opposition is being taken over by extremists with ties to al-Qaeda. Fifteen people were killed today when an Islamist extremist group attacked a police station, killing everyone inside. This says the U.S. decides to cut off all non-lethal aid until it figures out exactly who's receiving it. Our chief national security correspondent, Jim Shuda, has been following this very complicated situation in Syria, and it, it looks dire. What's going on? No question. I've talked to a number of officials, and there is real concern now that the opposition is, in effect, disintegrating, that as you have this infighting and as it grows, in effect, you have a civil war within a civil war, and that the factions that have the upper hand are the most extremist elements, exactly the scenario the administration had hoped to avoid. <laughs> This is the extremist al-Qaeda-tied militant group increasingly dominating the Syrian opposition. Today, al-Nusra carried out a brutal massacre of civilians in northern Syria, as other extremists raided a warehouse of humanitarian aid supplied by the U.S. The leader of the Free Syrian Army, the moderate faction the U.S. has supported there, spoke to CNN Al-Gharani by telephone. The situation in the north of Syria now is very complicated and very dangerous uh, because uh, there is uh, some problems uh, between uh, some uh, groups. A U.S. official gave CNN an even more sobering assessment. Quote, what isn't clear yet is whether the various factions will refocus attention on toppling Assad or become embroiled in internal fighting that would play to the regime's advantage. The rapid deterioration has left the administration's stated policy of removing Syrian President Bashar al-Assad in disarray. Extremist groups, terrorist groups are involved in this. Um, so it's not a matter of just an easy choice between the good guys and the bad guys here. What's left may be just the not-so-bad guys, the Islamic Front, another extremist group, though not tied to al-Qaeda. Some in the administration make the case the rise of extremists may have a positive side by forcing Russia and others to the negotiating table. An assessment Democratic Congressman Adam Schiff strongly disputes. Uh, these extremist uh, gains are uh, a very serious setback. It's very hard to put any kind of a positive light on the marginalization of these secular forces. Unfortunately, it's part of a trend that we've been seeing for some time now. Further down the line, there is another serious fear that Syria becomes a new Afghanistan. Extremists from around the world fight and train there and then return home to carry out acts of terror. And the officials I've spoken to, Wolf, have said they expect it to get worse there before it gets better. One official saying to me there will be more turbulence within the opposition as these various factions fight for the upper hand. Yeah, one, one person said to me it's going to get worse before it gets worse. Uh, yeah. So they're not very up, upbeat about any of this. Jim Shudo, thanks.